Hello, hello! I have a book today called Pastry School in Paris, and this is a math book that I will use when I am teaching um, capacity for the little ones. So what I use for this lesson is different uh, measuring tools of some kinds. So we've got measuring cups, we have back here the measuring spoons, and then here we have, you know, this can have cups, ounces, we have the half a liter, milliliters, so different ways in this in this one you know, measuring uh, tool. And then, which I'll talk about afterwards, I have containers that have the same amount um, of liquid capacity it can hold in each one, but that they're different shapes. I just took out my recycling, and so I don't have a good example. So I rated the refrigerator. You see these random things. So this one is shorter and wider, and this one is skinnier and taller. I did cheat a little bit because this one's five fluid ounces and this one's four fluid ounces, but I'm not working with much here. So um, I'm using it as an example, but I wouldn't use this with uh, kiddos because it's not the exact same amount. So also I you know where I shop now. Okay, so what I do is first I read the book through and it is about these twins that go off to Paris to do some uh, uh, cooking cooking class. And I like that we have um, the measurements there. And, you know, if you have a gallon, what does that mean in cups? Um, so that's really cool. And then um, in there here, they're, you know, they're baking. They're making mistakes in there, which I think is really, really cool because I love kids baking and I love kids baking um, and making mistakes. So what I'll do for this one is I'll read the book first and then taking the really easy way in teaching about capacity is we play with it. So you're going to find a bunch of different things that you have, sort of collection, different, so maybe you have something that's a, a gallon. Can you find something else that's a gallon in a different, uh, different shape? And then those are your two gallon examples where they're, you know, one is tall and skinny or one's wider and fat. And have them guess, you know, which one can hold more. And have them play around with that. And have them in, you know, in pairs of what the ones that are going to be equal or maybe even three or four or whatever it is that you've got. And have them play around with it. It's so great in the summertime um, when it's outside and you can have a, a wide assortment in different um, categories. I keep them together uh, so that you don't, you're not just pouring water into different containers, um, but that you're comparing the ones that are supposed to be the same. Um, and so we'll play around with that. And then uh, I know I've talked about this in a few other videos that I really love letting kids bake uh, because I think it's a really fast teacher. They're super motivated because maybe it's a recipe that they've chosen. Um, and they figure out very quickly when it doesn't taste right that they've made some sort of a mistake. So um, this one really does inspire some, some baking. I like that they make mistakes in there because that's part of learning how to, um, well, how to be using, you know, a measuring tools and that how to do that and how to, you know, pull it off. And um, another game that I have played with this before is rice, having a big rice bin and so you want to maybe put, I want to put four of these into here to make it the same. However, if I have to heap it, it's going to not maybe be the right amount. So to teach them, you know, you put the rice in and then get a knife and just scrape it off. Or even your finger if you don't want to use um, knives. So um, that's another one is to use uh, rice, especially in the winter now when it's getting a little cold um, and you don't want to use water. So... Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can play with that uh, and, and have a lot of fun with it. If you're choosing not to bake, that's totally fine. There's a lot of ways to, to learn about capacity through just playing with different um, size containers and bottles. So I hope you have fun with this one um, and, and play around with it and have a good time. Uh, and I will see you next time for another uh, math picture book video.